Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome back to our vegan kitchen. We have a product review Ooh. for you today. So <laughs> I've been trying for this new year to make little tweaks, be a little healthier. Um, well, I decided that I didn't want to buy store-bought uh, plant milk anymore and that I was going to try and make all of my own plant milk. So I did endless research. <laughs> endless. When she says that, she really means it. I'm what? talking 1 a.m. phone searches. Yeah. Like, a, like for days straight, like a whole weekend of endless research. And I decided that the best uh, all around milk maker, vegan milk maker, or, you know, nut milk maker, right? It doesn't plant -based. even have to be, yeah, plant based. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is a product called Milky Plant, right? And I, when I first saw this, I was like, "That's a silly name. I love it." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I reached out to the company, and they very kindly sent me my own Milky Plant. Yay! Wonderful. Oh, the so packaging. The packaging is amazing. I believe there's, besides this, I think there's, like, no plastic in this. Thanks, Milky Plant. Yeah. So, let's open it up. I'm so excited for this. Mm. I, I, I gotta tell you, I did endless, endless research. What does it say? Let's go nuts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh. Look at this. It's in a uh, cardboard instead of a plastic thing. Very nice. Oh, it has all of the stuff in here. It has, um, let's see, the user guide. Isn't that adorable? Aww. Cute. And the reason why I uh, thought it was the best, one of the main reasons is a bottle of milk is ready in three wow. minutes. Three minutes. That's like the same as making a cup of coffee in my Keurig. This is like the Keurig of uh, plant milk. Are these stickers? Yes! <gasps> Aren't they? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, they look like stickers. Yeah. Cute. I need one of those for my laptop. I know. <laughs> you can scan for all the recipes. This paper with the instructions on it to get it set up, you cut it up and it... Uh, you plant it outside, and it's flowers. Oh, I love that. Yes. And That's now, very cool. Let's re let me put this on the floor because I don't want to dump it, and I will <laughs> remove this. But as you can, or maybe I'll just do it like this. It's all cardboard. Beautiful. Come out, Bowie. What do you think? Oh, he's wagging. He said, that means he approves. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. This is so hard to do on camera. Yeah. You know? Like if I was off camera, this thing would be out in two seconds. Please, no dumpies. I know. All right, Ooh. here we go. Here we go. Here we go, milky plant. Here we go. Art, art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. You get a little oh, bottle of milk. Wow. I got to say, their presentation is on point. Uh cloth bag instead of plastic very nice this is a reusable shopping bag for when i go shopping and mm. everyone can see that i have a milky plant this come with also yes oh little measuring scoop i love this bag this yeah, is so that's fun. hot hotsy totsy and basically it looks like a keurig size machine i didn't even know this was a thing i didn't either until very recently I heard exciting. somebody else on YouTube talking about it, and I was like, Milky Plan, I need to see what that's all about. We have a little, I have another little piece of tape to take off here. Mm -hmm. That goes right there. Mm. This is so exciting. This is very exciting. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should look at the instructions. <laughs> right? I know the water tank is back here, and then you put your stuff in here. And then you put your under here. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do anything until I clean this. Because I'm not a dirty girl. I only... <laughs> <laughs> I have to wash everything. And then we'll probably be back tomorrow. 
with taste tests. My oh. husband is off from work tomorrow. We'll show you how it works. Maddie will we'll be here. It. My son will be here. Everybody will be testing the plant milk. So I'm very excited to make different types of plant milk for everyone. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, right. we will. So I'm back. Yay. I cleaned it up. I'm not a dirty girl. So <laughs> all of the uh, pieces from the milky plant I've taken off and cleaned. I ran a cleaning uh, session <laughs> through the machine. So it's, my milk shop is all ready to be opened. Whoa. So I can clockwork orange the milk bar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be making several different types of milk today. We're going to be making a cashew. Mm. We're going to be making an almond. You don't have to soak the nuts, but I remember that I've made almond milk in the past with the skins on, and it tasted a little bit bitter. So I don't think it's out of the question. This is one uh, little bottle's worth of uh, almond milk nuts. I could just soak this for a few, half an hour, and then uh, get the skins off. So good for that. We're also going to try an oat. And I've never tried walnut milk before. I want to try walnut. There's so many different milks that you can make. I've heard of people trying uh, pumpkin seed, macadamia nut, wow. sesame seed even, like a tahini milk. Uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I'm sure I've, I've heard of so many different types of milks. Rice, of course. I'm not a big fan of rice milk, so I don't want to try ones that I'm just going to end up like throwing out. I want to try ones that I'm actually going to drink. <laughs> I mean, good on you. If you like rice milk or whatever, fine, but I don't. So let's get started. Uh, let's come over to the Milky Plant. Ooh. I just love that name. It's yeah. just such a fun name. Whoever came up with that, give yourself a pat on the back. I love it. All right. Um... Let's take our cashews over to the machine. Okay, so this is where it's gonna stay. And it's nice, it's a good size. It's like a milk Keurig almost. Yeah, it's pretty slim. Yeah. So we're gonna turn it around because we're gonna add a little bit more water. It's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit of a learning curve here. This tank comes off. I didn't realize you had a, that stayed down and I was like trying to clean it and I'm not one for reading directions. I just feel my way through. <laughs> took me a while to realize that I need to push that down again to like re-engage it, but I figured it out. It's, it's not tragic. So we're going to add a little bit more water here up to the, the max line is right here. I'm going to slide this back in and then we re-engage. We dock the spaceship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In here, in the top, is where the blades are that uh, mash up all of the nuts. So we're going to put one scoop of cashews in there. You can make combo milks too. Yeah, you could. You know, you could do like a cashew coconut. Also, you can make coconut. I left that out, but my husband hates coconut. So I don't even want to make coconut in the machine because I feel like it's going to taint it for the... And I've heard that coconut can be really uh, difficult to clean the machine huh. because those little shreds go everywhere. Mm. So I'm going to put in my cashews. I'm going to uh, put this back on the right way so that it locks. <laughs> it has arrows. Okay. Now this part over here... You just turn this. Um, it's always more awkward when I have to do this on camera. Of course. I was just getting this uh, on and off so easily before, but... Everyone's watching. <laughs> see what you oh, no wonder why, because I'm turning it the wrong way. It goes this way to come off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so this is where the milk comes out, the milk nipple right here. <laughs> so we're going to put the screen, this holds the stuff that you don't drink. And by the way, the pulp, you can make delicious uh, crackers out of it. Mm -hmm. You could throw it in smoothies, you could throw it in other recipes, like if you're making muffins or whatever, you throw the fiber in there. And that's extra fiber for free. <laughs> 
It also comes with this cleaning brush, which is awesome. The thing that I like the most about this, I don't want to have to clean it. It cleans itself. Ooh. Yeah. That is the worst part of making homemade nut milks or uh, non-dairy milks, the cleanup. So if this is a good cleaner, I couldn't recommend it more. All right, so let's get this on here. We have to line up the unlock and we have to lock. If the light is green, the trap is clean. Let's see, it lines up. Little Ghostbusters humor there. All right, here's the little jar. This is the milk jar. Cute. I'm gonna put that underneath and turn it on. <laughs> it's something is not right. That's I don't why think it's you're not turning in. on. Okay, I think you're right. I think it needs to go just a little bit more. Nope, something is. That's another safety feature of this. If it's not exactly lined up, it's not going to turn on because it doesn't want you to cut your hands off. So let's uh, reinstall this. Okay. <laughs> I just had, I didn't have it all the way turned. Okay. We're good now. All right. So we're going to put the milk bottle under here. This is very loud. Little warning. So the one in the middle, the happy plant in the cup is the brewing cycle and it only takes a total of three minutes up to three minutes that's crazy you mm -hmm. can have your milk in the same amount of time as a cup of coffee in the Keurig machine so it's sucking up the water the water's coming in here where the cashews are then this is going to uh, macerate it up you know uh -huh. cut it up and then it oh! And then it will filter through here and give us our cashew milk. Mm There's a countdown up here too for like each right each step. cycle. Yeah. Wow. That's quicker than going in the store and getting a carton of milk. That's for sure. Uh, how exciting. seems like a little bit frothy, you know, yeah, so yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it Lucy and Ethel, they're no. It's not, it doesn't look like it's going to. No. That was incredible, I have to say. Mm -hmm. That was incredible to watch. And we Dun. have milk. Wow.
That is pretty freaking amazing. Now we just made plain milk, but if you wanted, you could put in a little bit of vanilla. You could put in a date, you know, without the pit, of course. Mm -hmm. To have, we're gonna do that later when we do the almond milk because my husband loves uh, the almond milk with the vanilla in it. So we're gonna put like half a date in there to sweeten Ooh. it up a little bit. But let's taste it right out of the machine. It's not cold, but let's come over to the table and taste it. So this is just a preliminary. So here's one for you. Let me get. Oh, another. I thought I was later. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, let me just <laughs> taste it then, because I'm not gonna be tasting it later with you guys. Smells good. Oh my God, super creamy. Mmm. Very creamy. I would definitely put like half a day. Oh, I forgot to put salt in too. You're supposed to put a pinch of salt in because that helps preserve it a little bit longer in the refrigerator. Also, you're making small batches. So it's not going to, it's fresh. So it's going to go bad quicker than the one at the store because they put all the preservatives and chemicals in there to keep it uh, stable for longer so you can keep it in the fridge. But since you're only using, you're only making a small batch, it's easier to use it up before the whole batch will go bad. That's part of uh, the reason why I wanted this too because when you make a big batch with like uh, another milk maker, it's going to go bad in the refrigerator. I can't drink all that milk so fast. This is the perfect size for me and my family so that we'll use it up before it actually goes bad. It's, it lasts the perfect amount of time for us. So, cheers. All right, I put the cashew milk in the fridge to chill. So now we're going to attempt to do the cleaning cycle. So we got to get this off. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I have to say it's a little bit awkward. It's probably a learning curve. There, that came off a little bit easier. So here is where the uh, the pulp is. So I let me just rinse this off so that we get rid of some of the stuff. So then we're going to put this brush in here. Because that's going to yeah, brush clean it. Get our thing lined up here. Yeah! Ooh. Okay, let's... This one over here, the water splotches are the cleaning. Okay. This is the manual counter cleaning uh, right. cycle. <laughs> I wish the Vitamix had a cleaning cycle like this. So I nice. wouldn't have to clean out the Vitamix blender all the time. Because basically this machine is just a Vitamix with a really good... Uh, filter here so there's the pulp from mm. the I'm gonna save up all the pulp and I'm gonna put it in a batch of cookies for this weekend so sounds good to me it's nothing is gonna go to waste okay the cleaning was super easy I reinstalled the uh, filter screen back in here and now we're ready to open up the top I also restocked the water mm -hmm. <laughs> filled it up looks nice and clean in there Wonderful. We're going to put, we just took the uh, skins off the almonds. It took a couple of minutes. Not too bad. Not too tragic. I de-pitted a uh, Mijul date and that's going in there as well. And then we're also this time going, you should probably do this every time. Put in uh, the salt so that it uh, preserves it, you know, in the fridge. So just put like quarter of a teaspoon, like a heavy pinch maybe. Probably wasn't even that much. So get this lined up, put it back on, and we're ready to make milk. Or do we? <laughs> Didn't it just say it was ready? Is your thing not locked? <laughs> 
Oh, do I have to hold this down? Oh my gosh. I, all right. There's a tip for you because if I mess it up, chances are you probably mess it up too. You have to hold down the buttons for a couple of seconds so that they engage. Okay. So I had this on right the whole time, but I wasn't holding the button down long enough. That, I'm glad that I made that mistake because I'm well, now hoping we know. that it can help somebody else out there who's trying this out for the first time. All right. See, we're going to hold it down a few seconds. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Oh, the almond just came out and it looks legit. It looks good. It looks a little darker because of the date, the sweetness. But I just also remembered uh, I'm going to add a couple of drops of vanilla in there too because that's my husband's favorite. So this is going to go in the fridge ready for the taste test. All right, we got the tasting crew. Woo! All right, so I made four milks. I wish I could have, I'm so inspired to try different milks. I wish I could have made like 10 different milks, but That'd be a lot. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to finish them all in time and they would have gone bad. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we have cashew. This is unsweetened. I like that you put the date like on the bear. Yes, exactly. You have to cut the tape. <laughs> <laughs> this is almond milk with vanilla sweetened. Mm -hmm. This is uh, walnut milk sweetened with Sweet, vanilla. Sweetened mm -hmm. with dates. Yes. Okay. They're all these three are sweetened with dates. This is unsweetened and unflavored. And this one I made. This is oat milk with a date, a little bit of salt, and some cacao nibs. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so why don't you start off with the cashew? Because I feel like that is the blandest. Okay. Because it doesn't have any uh, of the sugar in there and it doesn't have any vanilla. So these have all been chilling. Yes, in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, um, I should have mentioned... I don't want to drink that much. <laughs> That's a lot. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. There's a link in the info box below. Uh, it reminds me of Cheerios. Would, does it? Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to get one of these for yourself, where's yours? I guess you're just gonna just share it. Share it. I'll take a sip. All yeah. right. So yeah. if you want to get one of these for yourself, there's a ten percent off. That's uh, way more flavor than I was expecting. <laughs> really? It feels a little bit thin though. Yes. But I really get the um, the, the cashew. cashew coming through. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it, it's thin. It does feel a little thin. There's right. flavor there. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could experiment with adding more nuts or less nuts. So this is just cashews? Just cashews, cashews and else. water. Yeah. 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 And in here is all of the leftover pulp. So you want to take that off? I can't do it with one hand. There Ooh. you go. So the chocolate, <laughs> the oat, the almond, it's all in there. I'm going to put it in a recipe so it doesn't go to waste. Sounds good. All right, right, next up. Almond. <laughs> I feel like um, we need a spit bucket, like in Sideways or something. Right? <laughs> Mark has just poured the almond milk. You want to oh, give it okay. in ladies first? This one, I can smell the vanilla. Right. Mmm, I like that. Yeah. That's nice. That's the only one I haven't tasted because I'm allergic to almonds. <laughs> it's got a nice sweetness it's to sweet, it but yeah. it's not overwhelming mm -hmm. right and i feel like it's a little bit um thicker than right. the first one. I don't know it's about the same to me i mean you don't want like a super thick milk no. anyway but i did feel like the cashew one was a little waterier but this well, one i like that a lot yeah most of the time uh we usually only use the milks in baking or to make like a protein drink or something like that. I need a decent amount of cereal, so. Oh, see, I don't do I like a little cereal, cereal every once in a while. Yeah. All right, next up we have, uh, well, which is your favorite so far, the almond? So far, yeah. this is my fave. Okay. Well, of course it's I wonder how you would have, now I'm feeling like, oh, I wonder how you would have felt if blind, I had put the um, cashew with some uh, sweetener. Yeah, I'm sure I would have loved that too. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar's All right, addictive. this one I actually tried, and this is my favorite. This is the walnut. Oh, walnut. fancy! Yes. 
I can smell the walnut a little bit when I can just, you? A little bit. I mean, if I didn't know it was walnut, probably not. But because I know to look for it, right. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. A little confirmation bias there. Right. Definitely taste the walnut. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Never had walnut. I milk would before. really like that in coffee. I feel like. I could see that being good in like a tea or a coffee. Yeah. Though. Yeah, I definitely taste walnut. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. It's no, just I, I'm not used to it. I yeah. Use walnuts, like, what? You know. Yeah, sure. What if you had a delicious vegan brownie and that a little bit with it? Yes. <laughs> like the brownie didn't have walnuts. Right. But you had well, that. We, we do have a I delicious know. vegan brownie. Oh, so good. Okay. So far, this one is still my favorite, but the I did almond. like that too. I my well, I haven't. I couldn't taste the almond because I'm allergic to it. But I, yeah. you know, my favorite's the walnut. Okay. Last up, I made an oat, oh. cacao, vanilla, sweetened <laughs> milk. Let's get it! Yes. Now, this isn't like the chocolate milk that you get no. at the store because it's this not full chocolate. of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> the chocolate is more of a note. Why do we it's... have so many shot glasses? We don't even drink. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you up? Yes, the dog just snuffled over here. Bowie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go first, and then I'll give my comments. I'm sorry. What was the base? Oh. oh. Yeah, eh, not great. I, I don't like it. I feel <laughs> like the cacao is a little bit bitter, maybe. Yeah. Or is it cacao or cocoa nibs? Cacao nibs. Oh, cacao nibs. Yeah. It's a little bit bitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do like the oat base. Right. I think the oat and then like a date. Right. Maybe a little vanilla would be like. Ooh. Well, I just want. Ooh, you went back for more. It's not bad. It's yeah. just like. There's no sweetener. No, there is. Oh, okay. I wonder if I had just used a cacao powder instead Maybe. of the nibs. Yeah. It would be better. Maybe. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. All very good though. Yeah. Yeah. And fast. Yeah. Three minutes. The thing or less. that I really appreciate about this machine mm -hmm. is the fastness of it, the ease in cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to save us a lot of money because it's so much more economical yes. to make your own milk at home. Plus, it's going to be fresh. And it's good for the environment because mm -hmm. we're not using all of those uh, containers. Right. Right. You have one devil horn sticking up. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I don't. No, you don't. Well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that was fun. So, wonderful. Yeah, I um, would drink any of them. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't like drink. I don't drink. I don't like drink I milk. Yeah, but out. I would that. use them. Yeah. I might even have a piece of brownie now. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> So like I was saying before, if you guys want to get one of your own, get. the link is in the info box below. You yes. get 10% off. Ooh. We would appreciate uh, for you, if, you would get, if you're going to get one, to use our link because yes. then, you know, we get something out of it too. And we would appreciate it so much. But yeah. And thank I'm you really, to Milky Plant again. Thank you, thank you to Milky that. Plant. I'm I'm just so thrilled. Mm -hmm. I feel like royalty over here with my own milk maker. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It is. it is pretty cool. I did not know that that was a thing. Yeah. I, well, I had never seen one like this before. Like, yeah. I've seen uh, other types to which I was like, I am i don't want to spend an hour cleaning it. Yeah. You know? This one cleans itself. It takes care of itself. It's like adopting an adult dog. It knows how to use the toilet and everything already by itself. No, the dog does not know how to use the toilet. Well, it knows how to toilet <laughs> itself. I don't have to potty train it. You know what I mean? Like, Where I you appreciate go? that. <laughs> Thank right. you all so much for watching. Let us know if you have a milky plant, if you're interested in a milky plant. Um, yeah. And what your favorite type of plant-based milk yes. is. Yes. And what other plant-based milk should we try in the future? Yes. Will it milk? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. The milk bar is closed yeah. for now. Um, thanks for watching, and until next time, much love.